Hi everyone, my name is Katie and today we are going to be doing a super fun experiment about memory. And by the end of this video, you will have learned a new memorization and study tool. All you need is a pencil and a piece of paper. Have you ever been in a conversation with someone and you just can't remember the name of something or the name of someone? Or maybe you've been in class and you know you know the answer, but it's just not coming to you. Well, today we are going to learn how to improve our memorization skills. Try to memorize this set of letters. Now, from memory, grab a new sheet of paper and try and write them down. Can you get all of them? If you did, did you use any special tricks? It's difficult, right? One thing you can try to do is chunk the letters into groups by theme. For example, you could try and have the category of animals. And so with the letters you have, you can make dog and hen. So D-O-G and H-E-N. And then you can have a group of companies, IBM and KFC. And lastly, the set of letters you could chunk into alphabet. So you have A, B, C, Q, R, S. Overall, the letters you have are D-O-G, H-E-N, I-B-M, K-F-C, A-B-C, Q-R-S. And you know you have the categories of animals, companies, and alphabet. With these groups in mind, are you able to recite those letters perfectly? Isn't it so much easier when you use a tool such as chunking? Short-term memory is defined as a limited capacity storage area. This means that it is limited on how much it can hold and how long it can hold it for. Short-term memory can only hold new and unfamiliar information for 20 to 30 seconds, and it can only hold about four to seven bits of information. We can get around the limitations of short-term memory by using the strategy called chunking. As we saw, chunking organizes information into larger chunks that are familiar in some way. A chunk can be a word, a familiar phrase, or a number sequence. By chunking individual bits of information into larger blocks, it becomes easier to retain and recall. This is a simple way to expand the limits of our own human memory. This doesn't just apply to memorizing random letters. It also applies to daily tasks, chores, and studying. Here's another example. Memorize this string of words. Tomatoes, turkey, milk, cucumbers, ham, yogurt, strawberries, salami, and lastly, cheese. This list might have been a bit easier, but were you able to memorize it all? Try chunking it. On a piece of paper, sort this grocery list into three different categories. Here's what I did to chunk these words. Produce, tomatoes, cucumbers, strawberries. Deli, turkey, ham, salami. Dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese. As you move through middle school, high school, and college, you're going to have to remember a lot of information. That is why it is so important to start learning memory techniques now. I hope this video helped in some way, and let me know if you want me to talk about more study tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching, and you are all brilliant. Bye everyone.